uh, their bill. As Jose was saying, the community recognizes the amazing work you've done. And the prize you just received summarizes that recognition. Um, what is your vision for the next couple of decades? Well, I would prefer you to ask me what's my vision for the next couple of months. But, if, I, but first of all, I, I want to say I'm honored to have received that award, especially to be presented uh, by Aubrey. Uh, now, Jose called me a pioneer. Uh, Jose doesn't realize, maybe he does, that he's also a pioneer. He, he, he has, his impact on the field has absolutely caused a rebirth of the entire field. Okay, it's what, what he's doing is just amazing. Uh, but as a pioneer, I don't want to end up in Rudy Hoffman's slides of the people that passed away that have been working on trying to cure aging. I have every intention of not being there. But I, I think that the word pioneer is unfortunately implying that it's taking a long time. Okay, because we're pioneers because the field's existed so long. The field's gonna end when we actually do find a way to cure aging. And I want that to not to happen in the next few decades. I want that to happen in the next few months. And, and it's, it's all funding, you know? It's like, uh, we have brilliant brains, uh, Aubrey, me, oh, of course I wanna be modest here, but uh, Greg Fay, Liz Parrish, on and on, Nuno, you. I mean, we, we've all, we've got a lot of really, great thinkers working on trying to cure this aging. And I just can't imagine the possibilities that we could achieve if we had the funding to allow us to do everything that we can imagine. So that, that's the thing. And I think that we could have some major impacts done in just a few months, not a few decades.